Hi, my name is Guillaume Dury and I study insects. I'd like your help for my next research project. The basic question I'll study is why do some insects take care of their young? Now most insects abandon their young. You're probably familiar with exceptions to that, like the highly social wasps, bees, ants, and termites. In those species, female workers take care of their brothers and sisters. But in their distant ancestors, it was probably mothers taking care of daughters and sons. And it's a species like that I want to study. I've got just the candidate. Leaf beetles of the species Praseisella vitata take care of their larvae. They protect them from threats, parasites, and predators. Truth is, we're not really sure what the threats are, but that'll be the first objective of my project. Another reason this, this system is great is that a closely related species, Parafora aulica, doesn't take care of its young. It abandons them. We're going to monitor larvae and families of both species and compare them. One hypothesis we have is that the larvae of Praseisella vitata are less toxic, meaning their mothers have to take care of them, have to protect them more than the larvae of Platyphora aulica. Now, to make this happen, I need to buy plane tickets, food and lodging in the field, laboratory supplies, meaning material to collect the, the insects, the plants, and cameras to monitor them in the field. This is where your money can help make this happen. You might ask, what makes me qualified to do this study? Well, I've been studying insects since I'm very young. In the words of Ed Edward O. Wilson, most children have a bug period, and I never grew out of mine. My passion for insects has been there from the very beginning. At five years old, I was already telling people I wanted to become an entomologist. I did my bachelor's in biology in my undergraduate research project on insect behavior. During my master's, I studied leaf beetles. They're a wonderful group. They have a very high diversity of colors, of modes of development, and of species. I did my fieldwork in the tropical forests of South and Central America, Panama and Ecuador to be specific, and I've already published some of the observations I've made. In that paper, we report maternal care in Prase salivitata, the species I'll study, for the very first time, and that was published in 2013. Now, if my expertise and experience aren't enough to convince you, believe the National Geographic Society. Through a Young Explorers grant, they're covering about half the costs of the fieldwork. They believe in me, I believe in me. If you believe in me too, please share my project, donate, and don't forget to be awesome.